Hey, what's going on, y'all? How y'all doing? So, today been an eventful day. Um, obviously, y'all know I'm over here at USA Truck doing my IC thing or whatever, right? So, I picked up a trailer. Picked up that trailer right there. That one. 216 534. Picked it up yesterday midday uh, yesterday, I just said yesterday afternoon right um, did my pre-trip inspection on it and determined that the brakes needed to be replaced alright so obviously that's why I'm here at the shop notice I said I picked it up yesterday yesterday it's night time but um Determined that the brakes needed to be replaced and call roadside. Roadside say, okay, go to uh, over here. So I go to this Love's 60 miles away. I wanted to get here and um, for them to tell me that, uh, for them to tell me that we ain't replacing them right they did that last night they told the mechanic send more pictures I stayed here until the next day next day come along and everything and then I hear they uh, take more pictures and then they denied it a second time because they sent more pictures the uh, uh, roadside say, hey, send me a few more pictures, and this is what they got to look like. So what the mechanics did was, the mechanics, they backed off the slack adjusters. After they did that, they measured the brake, the brake shoes, and after they measured the brake shoes, they went on and um, sent the pictures over to USA Truck. They determined that the brake shoes is at a quarter inch, which is legal, right? However, they're at a quarter inch. I'm already at the shop. I get loaded, use the trailer, hit the brakes, they ain't gonna be at a quarter inch no more, right? I mean, it's, 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 on, it's physics. That's the way they design. As you use them, they wear down. So I'm already at a quarter inch, which is the minimum legal limit. They denied it. Cause it was like, it's, hey, since you're at a quarter inch, you can make it to a terminal. Well, the closest terminal is in Van Buren, Arkansas. That's HQ. I am in a uh, big cabin, Oklahoma. That's well over two, 300 miles away almost. Well over that. All right. So I'm just north of uh like just northeast of Tulsa. That that's that's typically where I'm at. 60 miles northeast of Tulsa, Oklahoma. Maybe it's 70. Right? So I put a post on Facebook on the USA Truck Independent Contractors website. I mean on a uh, page. And when I did that, a driver manager that worked with well, an operations guy. I don't know if he's a manager, a driver manager or not. All I know is he's on the operations side. He hit me up. He said, hey, did this get fixed? I said, no, it did not. He said, I get in at five. Okay, a little shortly after five o'clock, he called me on the phone. Because I gave him my truck number and everything. So he looked at my truck number, got my phone number. He gave me a call. He said, hey, did the issue get fixed? I said, no, it didn't get fixed. Here's why it did not get fixed. He said, all right, cool. Uh, somebody from safety, get, I mean not safety, but uh, somebody from roadside to give you a call in about within an hour. 30 minutes later, roadside called me. They said, hey, your brakes got fixed yesterday. I said, no, they didn't. They didn't get fixed. Here's why they didn't get fixed. Here's what happened. So I explained that situation two times. And um, after that was all said and done, then I had a, um, I had, Went, walked into Love's and talked to them 
and they resubmitted the uh the request for the brakes to get replaced all right loves redid that somebody outside of the guy that i talked to from uh roadside had denied the request again saying he is responsible for his own uh repairs i told a mechanic that's not my trailer i did not own it the mechanic said replied back in the system in capital letters it's not his trailer uh give it about 20 minutes later everything's approved everything's approved and now i'm in the shop getting the trailer fixed so thank you to mike from usa thank you for looking at my post and i appreciate you making stuff happen that's what we need more people like you that got common sense to make make sure stuff happens because it, it, it would have been useless to drive 300 and some miles or close over 200 miles to get the brakes changed at the terminal just to drive 200 miles back here plus another 200 miles to get my load unless y'all was gonna pay me for it that'd have been pointless i appreciate you thank you and uh y'all have a good one